Hi everybody, this is Shannon McNally and I'm answering some questions um, that came from you guys about the Wayland sessions. And so we're gonna get started today. The first question is from Gina in Toronto. And she asks me, you do produce the record, you produce the album. Uh, tell us about the process for recording a track, rehearsing it, cutting it, going through the process, etc., cetera, et cetera, until you get the tape. All right, well, um, essentially this record was done very old school style. Um, I learned, you know, my, my, my recording mentors were Dr. John and Jim Dickinson, and both of them believed that misery stuck to the tape and that um, it needs to be fun. The process needs to be fun. It also is a deeply organic process of having everybody in the same room um, and listening to one another and reacting to one another. So once you've cast your, once, you know, once I knew who was playing, the, and they're all there and we're set up and we got our sounds. Um, basically the way we cut each track was we would uh, listen down to an original, you know, Wayland's version, and then uh, write our write our charts. Everybody would write their own charts, and then we would discuss it a little bit. We'd talk, you know, the drummer and the bass would talk, bass player would talk to each other, and we would all talk to each other about the arrangement. Um, you know, sort of loosely run it once or twice for arrangement, and and then a little bit of interplay. Um, but really what you want to capture in a live take like that is just the energy and uh, you want to be live when, when, when it's live you're getting all of that beautiful stuff that's going on in everybody's synapses in their brain and the autopilot that takes over in a really great musician's hands and, and feet you know and um, and that you allow that to interact with it you give you know all that to interact with it so basically, what you don't want to do is overcook it. That's the bottom line. And um, so we would run it once or twice. And once everybody felt good about their arrangement, then you hit record and uh, you go for it. And and uh, you can kind of feel it in the you know in your belly if you got the right take. If the en if the energy was all there, it was zipped up nice and tight. It's kind of like a bottle of soda. You know, when you open that top, when you open the top, it fizzes and it's sort of perfect ideal you want to catch it right then recording is the same way you can overdub later but essentially I wanted uh, I wanted those songs to come off the floor sounding like they were gonna sound maybe some overdubs later but um, not the, not the belly of the beast you know so we got it pretty um, pretty hot off the floor and um, and uh, you know maybe it I would say we got everything in under three takes. We wouldn't do much more than three takes. We were, um, we were you know, pretty flash fried. So.